What's up guys, it's your daddy X here, and I'm just trying to play a Game Boy Color at the moment, but there's a massive problem with it. The problem is, is it's outdated. The screen is too, too, too dark. But luckily, we live in a day and age now where we have backlit kits. So today, I'm gonna be installing a backlit kit into this Game Boy. However, I think this is gonna be part one of this video, because I don't have a personal Game Boy Color, and I want one. And if you know me, we gotta black this out. We gotta make it gothy and sexy. So, with all that said, let's start this two-parter. Remember, Remember the of the information society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. <laughs> Here is our donor Game Boy Color, a raspberry pink Game Boy Color. Looks more red than anything, but that's what they call it. So upon inspection, on the back right away, the cover that is right here, this is not the original cover. You can even see the texture that's different than the entire Game Boy Color. They left tape on there that turned to glue, and it's missing the battery connector that's in there. So I have to replace that. Um, but it works. Uh, I've tested it out, it works. We are going to replace it with this custom painted black Game Boy Color shell that I painted. In another video, I'm gonna show you how to do this, but I did this because the original shell does not come black. And like I said, I'll show you in another video. But I bought this. This is a backlit screen from Handheld Legends, and all the products I'm gonna be using here are from Handheld Legends, so it's, it's a really cool uh, place where you can buy everything you need. This is the first model ever do like this. Uh, it's solderless, so it should be easy. The first thing we're gonna have to do is take this Game Boy apart. Six screws, try wings. Let's get started. All right, so shell, we don't need this anymore. So we're just gonna put it together and set it aside. Maybe use it as an art project or something later. You never know, you find another piece, put it together. Uh, same with the buttons that we have here. The D-pad's in really good shape. A and B's in pretty good shape. Start and select are pretty good shape. But we are not going to use these because these aren't black, these are gray. We will put in actual black ones. This little piece that goes on the top of the Game Boy Color, uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick with that, but we are going to use that. The membranes that are here, we are going to use these as, as well. This Game Boy Color in general was very clean on the inside. I rarely see that. Um, there's nothing really I need to clean to it. And if I do decide to clean it, I'll just use it little by little. But the next step, and a step that I like to show separate, is how to take off the screen that is here. So let me show you how to take this off because this is our next step right here. All right. So this is the part I always have to show people because I want I, people get nervous about this. You're gonna flip the board over uh, to detach the screen and it is two little pins. Just be very careful, get something small to push it. I use a screwdriver, a very small screwdriver, push them up and then pull it out. Screen is off, it's clean. We are not gonna use it, but we can use it for something else on another time. Uh, board is clean, this is it. This is all we really need at the moment. So we're gonna just set this aside and let's look at the kit that we got here. Check it out. There are two pieces to this kit. So you have the screen right here and you have a motherboard. This motherboard and screen will then both hook up together and then go into the Game Boy Color motherboard that's here. So. It didn't make sense to me at first, but once I saw how the actual casing is on the inside, it makes perfect sense. So this is mine. And uh, as you can see, there's grooves for things to be set in. As I flip it over, I put in a glass uh, screen there. Um, and you, I think the best way to do it is to put the screen in first. So when you lay this thing down, it works pretty easily. So I guess this is the true tutorial. <laughs> at the moment of how you install this solderless screen. So I'm pulling it out very carefully. Um, the ribbons, just always be careful with ribbons. I don't care how strong the ribbons are, be careful with them. The screen comes with a protective cover on it. And 
Uh, from Handheld Legends, I saw one of their tutorials and they do this great thing. They tell you that the first step should be is that when you take this stuff out, lay the screen on the left side and then lay the board, once I get it out of this package, on the right side. And they say hold it in a very specific way. And what you're seeing on screen is the way you want to hold it. This is the touch sensor right there, the dimmer. And I'll show you how that works uh, at the end of this tutorial. But you're looking at two things. You're looking at the ribbon cable on the screen and you're looking at this brown strip at the very top. So this actually flips up. And when it flips up, you're just gonna slide the ribbon cable into there and close it down. And it's not a matter of lining it up like some ribbon cables. This actually slides in and you'll see it here. Really nice and easy. Uh, it's just gonna slide in. And once it slides in, you push the clip down and it's locked. And that's pretty much the entire assembly. Here we go, push it in and it just clips and you'll feel it too. That's the assembly, hands down, like nothing crazy about it. You're a modder now. <laughs> so from here, we're gonna push it aside just so we could have our casing right here. We're now going to put the lens into the casing. So when, before you do that, uh, they give you this these two little 3D printed parts for the kit. And these are pretty much spacers that go in there. And you can even visually see, like if you've ever done Legos in your life, where they go. One will go on your left side and the other will go into the right side like this. Line it up anywhere on that side. Just make sure it's nice and flat. And it's nice of them for, for them to put that out. So once you have those in, now you're taking the screen, you're flipping the motherboard and the screen as well. Don't forget to peel off the protector that's on it. I'm gonna do so right now. It's clean. This is why we wear gloves, folks. <laughs> and this goes in with no issue at all. It locks in nice and easy. So I, I think this was, when I was doing this, I feel like this is the scariest part of it, putting this part together. Now, that you have it in there, we are now going to twist and flip, and I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. All right, here we go. So you're gonna wanna flip the ribbon cable that you see connecting to the screen on top of it. You see that metal part that's right there? The whole point for that metal part is that it's gonna act as a conductor for what's on that ribbon. So we're gonna fold it like this, nice and simple. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some scotch tape and put it right over this. Now, I know what you could be saying is, really, I paid for this kit and I'm just putting a piece of scotch tape on it. Well, the kit actually comes with tape, but because uh, <laughs> I didn't know that, I accidentally threw that tape away. Um, but Handheld Legend says you could use scotch tape uh, on it. Uh, I forget the other type of tape that also is for electronics and ribbons, you can do that. I'm doing a double tape on it just to make sure it stays there very nice and easily. And these are just two little small pieces. So take your time doing this. You don't have to press super hard on it. Um, and that's pretty much it at this point. So that's there. Now, you're gonna do a second flip. Check this out. This other part flips and it fits perfectly into that little part of the case, the frame. So get ready for some jump cuts because I get nervous still at this point. Now that we have everything set and placed where it needs to be, this is the next little easy part. But we're just gonna fill in the buttons. Um, I got the black buttons all from Handheld Legends as well. Uh, this is not a paid sponsorship by Handheld Legends at all whatsoever. The point that I'm trying to get across is that if you're trying to build this exact same build at home, buy everything from the same place. You don't have to buy a piece from here and a piece from there. So black A and B buttons, black D-pad, black start and select buttons. It's gonna make this look so good. Uh, membranes go in as well. Don't forget those or else you can't have your uh, buttons working. And we're using the same original uh, membranes from the from the original Game Boy Color that we pull these out of.
once you have these in, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is get this board ready to be put in. This is the step that we go before we hook up the actual screen to the board. So I like to just hold this top part down, just another test of the buttons, and then we are going to pick up the board and put it in. And my big tip for putting the board back in while this is there is line up the speaker first. Once you line up the speaker first, everything just like falls in nice and easy. And there you go. So everything is in. The things we are going to do next is we're gonna put in the three Phillips screws that go on the bottom and connect your ribbon cable. And if you don't remember where those three screws are, one, two, and three, right there. Now what you wanna do is tuck this little piece behind these two lights, nice and neat. This is gonna be your dimmer switch. All right, now with everything in place, all you have to do is put the back piece on and seal everything up. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Gonna push the button on. Oh! Oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> this looks so good. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe I did this. And, and oh, this is good. This looks good. This looks so good. <laughs> Oops, sorry. All right. Whew. All right, calm it down. Calm it down. Um, let me turn off. We gotta try. We gotta try it with a game. Gotta try it with a game. Gotta try it with a Ga Game Boy Color game. Put uh, put some Metal Gear in. Oof. Oh, this looks good. Ah. Oh, this looks clean. This looks clean. That is so bright. It's like a cell phone. Oh, that looks so clean. Yeah, Konami Colors. You can play this thing. This is how it should have been made. This is how. The Game Boy Color should have been made. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. Look at that red. Look at that red. Oh, I should have left it there. The white pops on Metal Gear at the same time, though. This is good. Buttons feel good. Nothing's crazy about the button at the moment. Everything is. Greens look like greens. Hey, I can see Snake coming in. This looks good. This looks so good. This is how it should have been made, folks. Oh. <laughs> I know I'm probably not talking right now. Oh, this looks good. Buttons work. Start. Ugh. Colonel's got to talk to you. Look at the codex. It's green. Look at that green. This is like playing. This is like playing Metal Gear for real. Like on the PS1. Well, I know it's Metal Gear, but like this is nice. This is clean. Uh, let's put the sticker on the back. I'm sorry. I need to take the gloves off for this. Whew. <laughs> I'm sorry. So. Heart's pounding a bit. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm so happy right now is because, I'm gonna be dead honest, I was terrified to do this. Uh, most people are afraid of soldering. Most people are afraid of breaking something. Really, when you think of it, you're putting down money. The, these kits are, everyone's trying to save a buck, right? So these kits are going anywhere from like 50 to 75, $80 that I've seen. And you're worried, are you gonna break something? You're worried, are you gonna damage something? But this was easy. I'm gonna peel this off, make it look clean. It's clean. This is so clean. Wow, oh, this is so clean. This is so clean. The, the screen, look at the screen. The glass screen just fits it so nice. Oh, it's clean, man. I love this. I love this so much. Buttons work well. Um, <laughs> I'm coming down. I'm sorry, guys. The reason I said, the reason I'm a little like this is we're just terrified of modding something sometimes. And the truth is it's easy. I think if you're a first timer, this is the first time I've ever done this, honestly. Um, I've done Game Boy Pockets. I've done Game Boy Advances. I've done Game Boy, uh, the DGMs, the OGs. 
this one I was nervous about. Uh, these are these are pretty much brand new. This is like the big thing on the market now. Oh, the dimming switch. Look at that. The dimming switch works perfect. Look, I'm hitting it just to show you. See, it's, it's darker. Boom. Pops. Oh, this is so sick. This is so sick. I gotta run away so I don't get caught. This is great. This is so great. I can't wait to test the battery life out on this thing. But um, if you're a beginner and you are going to do a mod, whatever your mod was at all whatsoever, anyone can do this. This is easy. Let, I want to try a different game. I'm going to try a different game. Oh, so, so, so. And it's mine. <laughs> and it's mine. Because uh, goth. Here we go. You got to put something with uh, Dracula in it. You got to put something spooky in it. We got to play some Castlevania. Look how bright it is. Look how bright it is. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Um, <sighs> and turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. This is good. I always heard that on the Game Boy Colors, you can change the colors at the start. Uh, you can. There you go. I'm doing up and B. Right in A, you change the colors, and they're all coming out perfect. Let's try this one. Down in A. Down A. Hey, there you go. There you go. Your red's popping. Your yellow's popping. And we're playing on original Game Boy cartridge right now. This is perfect. This is so perfect. I've never been more happy about this. Guys, I'm sorry this video is so long. <laughs> this is what you have to get. If you are going to mod a Game Boy Color, this is what you have to do. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you for enjoying this long video. If you ever uh, needed a tutorial on how to do this, this is... Uh, oh, look at the sky. Or the trees, I should say. Oh, man. You can play this at night. You can play this in bed under the covers. Like You can play this in bed under the covers like you were 10 years old and your parents were thinking you were asleep and you had to fake it. This looks so clean um <sighs> once again guys i just wanted to tell you that this is it all black handheld at legends is where i got it from uh the buttons the case the glass uh lens the lcd screen all of it there it's uh this is an easy package and guys i did not spend over 80 bucks on all this to put this together. Uh, get yourself a Game Boy Color, whether it's the old one you have, or go find a junk one and just slap this sucker in. This is so clean, it's so nice. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this video. It's a long one. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, from start to finish, how to put in a backlit screen. Uh, please like and subscribe, <laughs> follow, share the video, do all those things, and if there's anything I've shown you through this video, and if you've made it this long, please remember this. Whatever you can take apart, you can put together. And I got a nice little case for it to go into. So, guys, <laughs> this is coming with me to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I will see you in the next video with the part two. Let's see how durable this uh, Game Boy actually is. Take care.